They're going to have us make a stop on a vehicle. They believe that the vehicle is in possession of some stolen uh, merchandise. It's a Blu-ray disc players that were taken during a burglary last week. And, uh, so after he sells one of them to uh, an informant, they're going to have us make a stop on the vehicle. Yeah, I see him. Probably got him for speed by now. Or, yeah, He's got to run up behind this truck to or truck in front of him. Yeah, the rear passenger's moving around a little bit. Sir, can you come watch him so I can take the photo? Can you shut the vehicle off for me? Can I see your license, registration, insurance, please. How you doing? You know your re registration's expired from like last year? Registration. Yeah, your registration. Paid. Yeah, well, it shows uh, July of last year. I had a bad smog thing, is what the deal was. The uh, light would light up on the ignition light. All right. It failed me on my. Phone. Okay. Do you have your driver's license? Mm -hmm. Where are you guys headed? Home. Home. Where do you live at? Fallbrook. I don't have a uh, license. You don't have a license. I'll show you the ticket if I can find it. It kind of explains. Ah, there you go. Somebody, I see that. Why don't you come on out for me, Steve? Let's step on back here to my vehicle. Let's step on around here to the hood. Alright. You don't have anything on you, do you? I got a pocket knife right there. You got a pocket knife? Okay, don't grab it, I'll get it. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Nothing illegal on your person? No. Sir. Spread your feet for me. It's okay if I check? Certainly. Okay, good. I paid 400 and something dollars because I didn't go to court or I didn't uh, appear. Right. So I got that all paid. Everything's up to par. And then they had to mix up at the collection agency that uh, whatever they do for the ticket. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put him in the back of your car right now. You're not under arrest. You're just being detained right now since you're suspended. All right. Okay? Yes, sir. The car's expired, so they got a false tab. It's probably going to go with me, more than likely. If I find the merchandise in the trunk, I'm going to get the serial numbers off of it. And I'm going to call back the detective. And we're going to compare the serial numbers to the ones that were stolen. And uh, see if they match. Whose bag is this? Backpack. It's your backpack? Yeah. Okay. Anything in it I should know about? No. Sorry if I check? Oh, so far I found three. That's an HD handy cam. They're all wrapped in these clothing. Another one? Where'd you get all these cameras? My dad. My dad from Michigan. Oh, here's another one. Well, it's a little odd for somebody to have. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven video cameras. Steve, is it? Some bad news for you. Apparently, uh, all of this equipment you have in your car has all been reported stolen. Great. So uh, you're gonna you're under arrest for possession of stolen property. So, 
We're going to uh, take you back to the Vista station, and uh, one of the detectives is going to have a conversation with you back there, okay? okay. So what, you need, what I need you to do is spin around the other way. Put your hands behind your back. You got a bad sh shoulder here, buddy. Okay. Be gentle. Popped out of places. You can't cut me in the front? Nope. Well, let's get me to the place. Can I do that? Before I got to go back to surgery. All right. Just relax. We'll be out of here as soon as we can. So, anyway, we just found out, Margaret, that this stuff came from a uh, a big heist the other day. There was a big theft. They broke into like a mobile trailer, like a display trailer, for a okay. lot of high-end uh, electronics. Uh, these video cams, the trunk's got some Blu-rays in it, DVDs. So what happened was the guy sent us the serial numbers and all the stolen property. It was about $60,000 uh -huh. worth of high-end electronics. So it turns out, following the traffic stop and an inventory search, we run numbers off the stolen property at the, uh -huh. at the, from the heist, and it matches. So basically, these guys are all going to be under arrest for possession of stolen property. All, all of this in a burglary last week. So we're going to go to jail for it tonight. Thank you. All right, we're going to go in here and talk to the driver of the vehicle real quick and see what he has to say about all this stolen property in his vehicle. Hey, Steven. Real quick. Just tell me, tell me what your involvement is with all this all this video equipment that I found in your car. What do you know about it? Nothing. Nothing? You don't know anything about it? All that stuff in your car? Is it in the back seat of the car, in the trunk? You don't know anything about it at all? I don't know nothing. Nothing at all. Alright, well, you're still going to go to, obviously, to jail for possession of stolen property, you know that, right? Mm -hmm father who was a cop, you know, who still is a cop, he's never talked about work, never pushed it up on me or anything like that. But I see what a happy life he's had, what a good life he's had. He's, you know, 20 years and he still wakes up in the morning and wants to go to work and is happy about what he does and something to be proud of. You know, that's, that's uh, what got me doing it. Now, right now we're going to go uh, back, one of our uh, deputies down here on a traffic stop. This area down here has uh, been a high crime area as far as uh, nighttime burglaries and stuff. So what you got? I stopped this guy, uh, he was driving with his high beams on. And, uh, anyway, he says that his high beam switch is, is uh, broken. Mm -hmm. um, he gave me his name and date of birth. and. Um, when I run him, I'm getting it. I'm getting a return on the name. However, the date of birth is different. Mm -hmm. And I pulled up the photo of the name and date of birth he gave me, and it's not quite matching. So I'm gonna pull him out and talk to him. Okay. What's that? Why are you wearing Why are you wearing this clothing, sir? My girlfriend likes me to do this when I, you know. Is she in change? I, I left the house, I just didn't have a chance. Okay, nothing legal on you, sir? No, uh-uh. Alright. Nothing stuff in your bra or anything no, like that? Uh -uh. Are you, well, you're no. wearing a bra, right? No. Oh, okay. Alright. The reason we're talking right now oh. is because uh, you're, you're lying about your name and date of birth. Okay. Yeah, you are. Okay. So, anyway, I found a name, okay, with a different bit, date of birth of what you gave me. However, I already pulled up a picture of that person, and it doesn't quite look like you. Not nearly. So. Um, what I'm getting at is, uh, uh, yeah, it's an old picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, come on over here to my car, sir. You get old, it hits you. You know, everything falls out. Your hair gets gray. You get ugly. What color hair do you used to have before it went gray? Brown. Brown. Come over here, sir. You see this photograph right here. It's definitely not him. So what I'm getting at, sir, is are you going to tell me your real name and date of birth? Because when I take you to jail today, okay, your fingerprints aren't going to lie, okay? I'm going to find out who you are. Okay. So why don't I get your real name and date of birth? That's it. That's how I'm being honest with you. Is that you? No. Okay, then that why does that picture come up under your name? Same middle name and everything. That's, that's interesting. Okay, do you have a credit card in the car? 
No. Do you have anything with your name no, on it? No, it was in my Volkswagen. It got stolen. Everything so you I have had. nothing in nothing. your car that says who you are? No. He has that same address that you gave him. Do you think maybe he stole your identity? You ever seen that guy before in your life? I can't tell. I can hardly see it. It's all blurry. I got my glasses on. I don't know if my partner told you this, but basically when we put you in handcuffs right now and we take you to jail, it's a felony for giving us somebody else's information which makes them liable for a crime or in this case a ticket. Are you are you aware of that? I no, I was not aware of that. Okay. Well let's let's are. let's be honest and let's get this taken care of so you can leave and we can leave. Do you have some warrants, sir? No. I'm I don't have anything. I guess I'm going to jail because that's my name. All right, sir, turn around. Can you at least get me not where this go? No. Please. I'm transmitting you back, sir. You tell us the truth and we can avoid all this. I'm, I'm telling you. Hey, I got a, you want to call my boss? I work right there. It doesn't matter. Tell you? You? Sir, you are under arrest for false impersonation of oh, America. Man. Hold that person liable. You should put a let me get dressed. Just be honest, okay? You're not 6'3". You're not 230 pounds. You're not that guy in that photo, okay? Please don't treat us like we're stupid. Be honest with us. Be a man, okay? Are you an adult? Yeah. Okay, I need you to be honest with me. Let me put some clothes on, I'll tell you everything. We will get you clothes after you tell us your real name. I can't do that, Jimmy. Huh? <laughs> you have my word, and I'll have you have my word that we will give you your clothes. Before we go in the car, right? Absolutely. You might not even be going to jail. Yeah, but let's that. figure out who you are. First name, sir? Jamie. Okay, who is uh, Thaddeus? My cousin. It's your cousin? Have you ever used his name before, sir? Yeah, once. Once? Did it work for you? Yeah. Did you know your cousin's real date of birth at that time? Because apparently no, you don't have it down years. tonight. <laughs> you got it all wrong. So let me ask you this. Why would you lie about your name? Do you have warrants? Yeah. Do you? For what? For a, a drug charge for Prop 36. For something that you're going to get released for from West Valley. You're willing to pick right, up another right. charge. How many warrants do you think you have, sir? Just the one that I know of. Is your license valid? Yeah, my license is valid. Is there anything inside that car that has your name on it? Nothing? Okay, have a seat. We'll get you, you're not gonna go to jail without changing your clothes. Okay. You've already okay. lied to me numerous times here, so I'm gonna confirm uh, your identity. We gotta make sure. Uh, for 25,000 for narcotics. Okay, let's, let's search that vehicle out, see if there's anything in there. And yeah, one of those warrants is for uh, false impersonation, so. Great. Uh, looks like you got a little, uh, little baggie of uh, meth, methamphetamine. Looks like a little bit of residue in there. So we'll keep searching. Yeah, you need to be careful. Is that a syringe top? Yeah, it's a captive syringe. So hypodermic needle. So okay, Jamie, we found this. It's got some re residue. In. That's aspirin. Aspirin. Yeah, those aspirin that are in the center thing. We're in that. Does it's aspirin back. flake like this? Hey, Look at. I mean, I I'm not, I'm not going to charge you I'm, with it, but don't don't lie to me and tell me that there was a me but methamphetamine. I got some aspirin for my sister. That's the way we're in that bag. That Look it in the corner. Head. It's flaking. I can't. I told you I can't see what my glasses are going to do. <laughs> when was the last time you used methamphetamine? It's been quite a while. Quite a while? In your head back, close your eyes. How long is quite a while? Look for it. Honestly. I mean, we're not going to take Honestly, you for anything in weeks. Weeks. It's been a couple weeks now. Yeah. I can't afford it. You know? Okay. Oh, man. I think that could have been in there for right over. Okay, I know, but there's meth residue sitting in the corner there. I had a bag just like that with aspirin. I don't know. All right, go ahead and see for him. Go ahead and uh, book him for the, the false information and take him for the three warrants. Okay. Um, I, I love to go down to the ocean, you know, do just about everything, scuba diving. Just basically something to get me out of the city, get me out of, you know, away from the the people and just kind of escape from everything that you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Not 14, copy 11, copy. Also, one, we told the subject go in the front door. Uh, all the units are set up. Okay, right now we're uh, rolling on scene to a house. A guy's shooting out in his front yard. When the uh, units just pulled up, he ran inside. Set up in the back. There's the apartment. Watch the window. Sheriff's apartment, open the door. 
Okay, he's going down the wall. Okay, he's going down the wall. Sheriff's Department! Watch, watch, watch these posts. Watch these posts. He's, he's on the other side of the, uh, he's on the other side of the refrigerator on Open the wall. Open the door now, Sheriff's Department. See a gun? Okay, you got someone coming. You see your hands. Let me see your hands. Yes, you. Open the door all the way and step out. Step out. What is wrong? Let me see your hands. Step out now. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. We're going to tase you. Go to the ground. Ow. What happened? Don't move. Turn over. Turn over. Cover me. Cover me on the hallway. I got you. Danny, I'm coming up behind him. I'm coming up behind you. Taser's free. What are you doing? I got the hallway. What, what are you doing? Uh, Matt 14, priority traffic. Stop moving. Uh, we got one. Tased. Uh, we're detaining him right now. Detaining me for what? Let me get his hand back. For what? What are you doing? Okay, hold on. Stand up. No, no, no. Stand up. For what? Stand up. Stand up. Stand up for Sir, what? Sir, stand up. For what? Thank you. Walk outside for me. For what? Do you have any weapons on you at all? Huh? Do you have any weapons on you at all? No, I don't have any weapons. Okay. Got him. Yeah, I haven't either. What did you do? Nothing. I don't know nothing. We'll tell you what happened in a second, ma'am. Wait, hold on. What, what are you talking about? Wait, my pants are coming off. Wait, here. Ma'am! Sit down. Ma'am. The cat's in the back room. He's fine. Please sit down. Yes, I saw him run back there. What's going on here, sir? What happened? Nothing. Where's the gun you were outside shooting? There's no gun. There's no one shooting any gun. Okay, the neighbors called and said you were out. There is no, okay, let me tell you something. Yeah, there tell is, me what you were doing out front. There is no gun shooting outside. What were you shooting? Nothing. What were you outside doing before we showed up and you ran inside? Nothing. So you just ran inside for no reason when the deputy showed up? No, there was no gun shooting outside until you guys shot out. There's a pellet gun? Okay. Were you shooting a pellet gun out front? No. You weren't. So... No. There's a pellet gun outside. Somebody called us and said you're out here shooting a gun. And you're telling me you didn't shoot any gun. There's nothing going on. Can you help me get him in the car? Yeah. Hey, Von it's a pellet gun. Okay. I found it inside the, uh, where he ran and hit it. Sit up. Sit By the, on the other side of the wall? Sit yeah. forward. Right. In the, in the right. bedroom, right? Stand? Yeah. You're Stand. Right. Yeah. Man, there you go. There is no man with a gun. No, just a pellet gun, sir. Scaring the heck out of your neighborhood. Have a okay. seat. Okay, step in. Put your butt down in first. Turn around. Sit. Sit. The deputies went inside, and uh, they found this gun. Guess uh, it's a pellet gun, but from a distance, you know, it could be a rifle. So that's why the neighbors called us. Sounds like he was trying to shoot the light out for some reason. Well, I'm sure just the sound of it alone, if he has it pressured up pretty yeah. good, it could sound like an actual yeah. small gun being fired. I can understand why everybody was scared. Yeah, and when we ran up to the door, I saw him run behind the wall over there like he's hiding something. And then we opened the door, and he's and he's standing there. How many how many commands do you think we gave him? At least Tell him to put his, hands up. put his hands Nothing, up. Nothing, huh? Under the door. So well, our... she walked by the window and saw us, and it was like. You know, nobody was concerned that there was police at their door. If I know if it were my house, I'd be concerned. Yeah, absolutely. So, and for uh, you know, for our safety, absolutely. fortunately, we had to, he had to be tased. So, absolutely. Okay, ma'am, do you have any idea what's going on? All I know, he's stupid because he's been who, drinking. Who all day. is he to you? He's my. I don't know. We've been together for 20 some years. You oh, tell me. I oh, don't know. Okay. We're not married. We live together. Okay. We own the home together. What happened is he was shooting a gun out here, and the neighbors called. Okay. I think he has a real gun. So we pulled up, and he ran inside. As soon as the deputies told him to stop, yeah. So that's why we had to open okay, the door the way sense, we did. So no I'm very, idea. very sorry to scare you. I'm very sorry to scare you, but that's why he got tased because I don't know if he saw the gun on him or not. Okay. No. So for our safety, that's the safest way to do it rather than tackling him and you know wrestle. I appreciate your cooperation. I'm sorry that we. No had to, problem. I was just watching yeah. my movie. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very Take much. Him, you know thank what? you very much for your cooperation. Are you aware of any other weapons in the house? Now? No, I'm not. There isn't any other. I just knew he had this pelican. That's it. David, do you have any idea why you're sitting in the back of this patrol car? I have no clue. No clue. Okay. Okay, we got a call of you standing in front of this place with a gun. A gun? Yeah. 
Okay, you told me you were outside earlier shooting a gun, but you weren't outside tonight shooting it? No, we had a um, we had a pellet gun. Okay, okay, That's you had a fun. pellet gun outside. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, d I mean, do, do we you... Were, no, my friend was firing into the ground. It was okay, like, but do you, do you think that's, you know, smart a thing to do when there's neighbors and everything around and kids playing? Probably not. Probably not. Know. Okay. Do you see that there's a very dangerous situation for me and my partners? We yeah, have no I, idea I, if I that thing shoots bullets or BBs. I can understand that. Okay. All right. Well, you're going to jail tonight for obstructing a peace officer and discharging the pellet gun, okay? Uh, obstructing a peace officer? Yeah. Resisting or obstructing a peace officer, okay? Or delaying. Obstructing a peace yep. officer? We gave you commands and you ignored them. No, I didn't obstruct no peace officer. Okay. Okay. No, I didn't. If you would have asked me, I would have opened the door and I would have, I wouldn't have struck nothing. Okay. Do you know what obstructing means? No. Okay. Then how do you know you didn't do it? All right, bud. Have a good night, okay? Luckily, he didn't get shot. We were able to tase him and, you know, take him into custody without him getting hurt. That could have ended a lot different. I saved his life with those tasers. Hopefully, he learns from tonight. My mother was a little nervous about me becoming a cop. She was afraid, like any other mother, that you know something might happen to her son. Um, so um, we started a couple of different businesses and got that lined out. And I got it to where, if something ever happened to me, um, that my family would be taken care of. Patrol Lab Two, is the other unit coming here? Three twenty-three is already there, and three out of three as well. Copy. We're headed to a uh, domestic. Uh, at this point in time, there's, there's no violence. It's just all verbal at this point in time. So we're going to go see what's going on at, at this domestic. Negative 433. Okay. Uh, just a, the whole argument started over this Hello, wrinkle, wrinkle in the shirt. Really? They both started arguing about a wrinkle. Uh, the gangster? You didn't hit him, nothing no, like that? No, it's just, we were, we were in the store, we were just fine. Like I said, we tried to get along for the babies, right. just for the baby. We were at the store, and he says, why is there a wrinkle on his shirt? I was like, it's just a little wrinkle. No one's going to see it. And he's like, well, I don't want my baby coming around like outside like that. I want him better looking. I want him to come out better, looking better than both of us. Really? I'm like, it's not a big deal. You sound like a girl. Please don't, just stop. So we come into the car. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to take you home. I don't want to argue with you. Nothing. I bring him home, and he keeps arguing, arguing, and arguing. I'm like, I stay quiet because I don't want to argue in front of my son. And I told him, I was like, you know what? Just please get out of my car. He's like, oh, what? What are you going to do if I don't get out of my car? Out of your car. He's like, I'll make this disappear. And I'm like, I was like, just get out of the car. And he, I could tell him, I was like, and I yelled at him, I'm like, get out of my car. Right. He throws a gallon of Gatorade at me. Hits me in my shoulder, and it hurt, but it hits me in my shoulder and it goes to the steering wheel. So then I'm, I was like, I throw it back. And I'm like, don't hit me with your Gatorade. And then he throws it back again. And this second time, he pulls his fist in my face. I'm like, are you going to hit me? Because if you hit me, you're never going to see your son again. Okay. And that's when he's just like, he's just like, well, what are you going to do? You know? Is this him over here? Yeah. And this is the second report. He has a lot of anger inside of him. Okay. So he always gets mad over little things like this, like I said. A well, make, make sure he doesn't use that anger on you, okay? Yeah. Right. Yeah, he always... I'm going to go talk to him real quick, okay? okay. Right. How you doing? Hey, how you doing, sir? What's your name? Ivan. Ivan? Mm -hmm. What's the issue today, bud? Uh, we got in an argument earlier about the baby, and then um, she came to drop me off, and I took the baby out of the car. She sped off, so I thought, okay, she's going to let me keep the baby for a couple hours. Um, she came back, and she knocked on the door, and my niece answered the door, and she said she wanted the baby. So I put the baby down to come outside and talk to her. Uh, actually, before that, I tried, to, I tried to close the door, and uh, she tried to hold the door open. She tried to take a step inside started to back up, so I finally opened the door. I walked outside and she pushed me. So I grabbed her arm and I, so I kind of like tossed her to the side. And uh, she, she kept, uh, she tried to push me again. I grabbed the glasses and I tossed them into the street and that's when she said she was gonna call the cops. What was your argument about the baby? Uh, I was kind of upset because she takes the time to get all ready and look good, but she can't take the time to make my kid look good and I don't like that crap. I mean, the way your I kid see don't look good? Huh? Your kid don't look good? My shirt's all wrinkled. It's below standards, man. I was in the military, so I know like you gotta be pressed at all times. And if my kid can't be pressed at all times, my kid's a year old. I'm very, very picky about how my kid looks. So a little wrinkle in a collar and you're gonna get upset? Are you kidding me? I get a little upset. Yeah. Baby's what, one year old maybe? A year old. Year and a month on the A year old baby. Yeah. And you want him clean and pressed twenty four seven. Mind if I look at your tats? What's this here? It's footprint. Baby footprint? Yeah. 
Awesome, man. So you think giving your girlfriend a hard time about your kid is good for your kid to see a one-year-old? Nah, it's not good at all. How old are you? I'm 22. You've been in the military? What branch? Navy. The Navy? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, your kid's not in the Navy. <laughs> and you ain't in the Navy any longer either, I don't think. You keep the standards. The standards, this baby standards? Kid look great. <laughs> If you, want, if you want them to clean and press all the time, worry about when, when you have the child. When she has a child, that's her responsibility, not yours. But I was with her, man. That's, that's so look at me. Is it about you or about the baby? It's about the baby. No, I don't think, I think it's about you. You know the domestic laws right now are pretty hot and heavy, uh, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. I've never been for violence. I'm telling you, the domestic laws right now, if there's a mark on somebody, a mark on you, a mark on her, we either take you, her, both of you, and then we take the child to Child Haven. Think it'd be clean and pressed out of Child Haven all the time? <laughs> no. Okay. So you cut child. Is it okay for you? The Child Haven, they know how to take care of children, right? Hell no. Oh, they don't? No. Okay. Not up to your standards? No. Okay. Well, if you want to keep your child around, then I suggest you all limit right. your anger. All right. Did you throw something at her? No. no? You didn't throw a uh, Gatorade bottle at her or anything like that? No. Okay, this is a domestic card right here. There's a couple numbers right here for emergency TPO protection. One there. There's the other number for non-emergency temporary protective order. Okay. If you guys are having issues with each other and the judge deems that you can have one or she can have one or both of you, then you have to stay away certain distance away from your girlfriend or ex-girlfriend. All right. There's some other things on there that you can uh, contact. Might be a good idea if you guys are going to be doing these child transactions yeah. to maybe either get another friend over here, a third person, or maybe give us a call so we can sit over here and keep the peace. Or go take it into a public place, 7-Eleven or something like this, because we're not going to be coming out. No, I understand. I've already, understand? I've already tried to discuss that with her. I've, told right. her well, I said, I've already discussed that with her, and she understands. Right. And she understands. Next time we come out here, if, some, if we can figure out who the primary physical aggressor was, that person's going to jail. All right. I don't care who it is. All right. Cool? Yeah. I hope I don't see you again. <laughs> All right. All right. You guys have a good one. Yep. Thanks. You too. I definitely have a feeling we'll be back out here again. Hopefully they get the idea and the point across that we're tired of coming out here and dealing with them for this stupid stuff over a wrinkle. I work with a pretty good group of guys out here. We train for just about every different kind of scenario since you never know from call to call what you're going to have. One day you're helping with them, maybe a lost person, and the next day you're responding to some kind of crazy call, so you never really know what you're going to get. Right now I've got a partner asking for code cover emergency response right up around the corner. We've got an armed suspicious vehicle. Unknown circumstances are what's happening right now. AR-15 behind you. What I want to do? What do we? What do we got? I got a dog on this side. You got a dog over to the right. You in the gray sweatshirt. Do not make any moves. That gun. Keep your hands up. Turn and face away from my voice. Grab the collar of your shirt with your right hand. Lift it up. Turn all the way around in a circle. Keep going. Let go. Now, you're going to walk backwards to the sound of my voice. Go, start walking backwards. Now, keep coming. Don't bring him to me. Yep. Keep coming. Keep walking backwards. We're going to bring him to my left, Prophet. Go towards your left. Two steps over to your left. Keep going. One more. Keep walking backwards. You in the blue shirt. On your hands and knees, move out to the street. Stop right there. Go up on your feet with your arms raised up in the air. With your right hand, grab the collar of your shirt, lift it up, turn in a circle. We've got to find out what we initially have. We've got one shotgun up against the tree here. Four subjects, not sure what we have. Everybody's in custody and we're just going to sort out what the gun was about. Some kind of armed suspicious person with the original call was.
I pulled up. I was just looking for guys walking. As soon as right. I pulled up. Arm suspicious is what it came out as? Came out as an arm suspicious, people arguing. Uh, showed up, saw the guy in the long sleeve sweatshirt, cradle and the shotgun across his chest. He was and near the tree? or He where was what? standing right up by the tree right there. Okay. And I had all of them just kind of milling around right here. Just instantly prone everyone out? Yeah. As soon okay. as I came, I just drew down and I ordered everybody to drop. Rick, what happened tonight? He came out with the shotgun and he mistook that truck for the other neighbor's truck. Is that what you were saying earlier? Well, I was trying to figure out because when I was talking to him, why, why you got a shotgun up here? You know, okay. And he, and he said, Eric's truck. I said, it's not Eric's truck. All right. And But when you started talking about the shotgun, you were afraid of him with the shotgun too? Oh, he was acting strange. He was acting strange? He, I, I said something about, don't, why are you being crazy with the shotgun? He said, don't, don't call me crazy. Okay. You know, he was like... In a kind of a threatening manner? Uh, yes, my, I, I, went, I went white for a second. We'll be back with you in just a minute. Thanks. All right, man. So when I showed up, you had that shotgun in your hands. Yes, sir. You think maybe that might not have been a good idea? Yes, sir. You don't think that was a good idea? Yes, sir. Well, that's a good idea there. Yes, Listen up. Why were you out here with a shotgun? Self-defense. Self-defense of what? Uh, there was a, it was an African-American male. What my, happened? My girlfriend and I came home from dinner down in the park down there. Okay. We walked up here. And my neighbor usually parks it. My neighbor parks his truck in that area right there, which is on my property right there to mailboxes. Okay. And I came home and I saw a colored fella. Okay. Okay. And he was digging in the back of the truck. And I said, "Hey, what's going on? I don't know you. What's happening?" Oh, not much, man. Not you know. And he, I saw him reaching down on the toolbox, so I figured it's time for me to go. You know, I mean, it's dark. There's. Okay. So you went back into your house. So I went back into my house. I went down and I got my, and I actually called you guys. Okay, because we didn't receive any phone call from 911 that says you called. Really? So, in a nutshell, you saw someone up there working on a truck. You thought it might have been your neighbors, and you decided to come up and confront them with he a loaded working. shotgun? He wasn't working on the truck. Okay. He was going to a toolbox in the back of the truck. Okay, but you thought it was your neighbor's truck, right? Okay. All right, well, I'm just letting you know it wasn't your neighbor's truck. Okay, that was actually his truck that he was yeah. working on. Okay, it's right now. In my okay. it's not, I mean, we understand you're trying to protect your neighborhood, but there's a problem with the law when you come out and you take the law in your own hands. You've got a loaded shotgun out in the middle of the street, especially when law enforcement responds. Okay. I understand, sir. But I wasn't out in the street. I was still on my property. Okay. All right. Well, what I want you to do, real quick, just go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. Go ahead and come on out. Okay. Face the car. You're gonna face the car. Put your hands up the small of your back. Right now, you're under arrest for carrying a loaded shotgun in public. Oh. What I need you to do, just go ahead and have a seat back in the vehicle. Watch your head as you sit down. Okay. You sit down with your rear end first. That'll help you so you don't hit your head. Yeah. All the way in. Slide across. You all right? Just slide back a little bit. All right. So you're working on the truck today, and yeah. what happened? Did he have the shotgun in his hands when he came out? You saw him carrying the shotgun? Oh, yeah, he had the shotgun the whole time. The whole time? That's what, that's what we want to know. We want to make sure you saw the shotgun, he walked up to you, and he was holding it when he was talking to you? He talked to everybody. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, here's...
baby! Oh. Damn, the guy hit me like 10 times! Roll over, partner. Sure. Oh. Anything sharp in your pockets? No. Knives, needles, razors, nothing's hit, cut, or poke no, me, right? Never, 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 never. <laughs> Why wouldn't you get down when the officer told you to? Because <laughs> he's hitting me! I got a weapon charge on, too, you prior. I got no weapon, never in my life! I asked him, please stop hitting me, and he kept hitting me. 41. <laughs> you wouldn't stop. I, heard, I told I, I you, no, no, I, you listen. No, I heard what he told you to say. I told you to stop. I heard you what he refused. told you to say. You walked away from me. You're going to sit up? I told you several times to stop. Slide your feet underneath oh. you. Oh. Oh, my leg. <laughs> slide your feet underneath you, and we're going to stand up. Oh, you're going to lay here on the sure. ground. What are you going to do? Up? No. Up, 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 up. Walk. Up. Up. OK, Whoa. God. Guys, please, just give me one second. Recuperate my legs. We're going to the car. This guy hit me so many times in the legs. Oh. Oh. Right here. Oh. Face the car. Face the okay, car. Okay, okay. Oh. 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 Next friend, now you're under arrest for obstructing. If you failed to do what I told you to do, you're obstructing my uh, duty as a police officer. For doing my du uh, duty and job. You understand that? Good. Metro Police is here right now to talk to you because they're hit and run. You got a license in your wallet, sir? No, he has no driver's license. No, sir, I don't. Suspended. For DUI and all kinds of traffic. Oh, you already, you already know who he is? Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. Jack, huh? Jack, relax. Medical's coming, okay? Now you're going to take a look at your leg or whatever you're complaining you're pain in, okay? I guess he ran from the accident or whatever. Yeah, it was a hit and run. Sir, Officer Snyder made the trap stop. I immediately pulled up behind him. Okay. He was in the driver's seat. Actually, I saw him pull over, drive to pull over to the side of the road. Right. He was the only one in the vehicle in the driver's seat. Officer Snyder was right there talking to him. Okay. And he had a wallet open, says, I can't find my ID. Well, he took it out and stuck it beside behind him. Okay. So, pretending to find it. Right. So, I went back to my car, to ask for the keys to the vehicle, took the keys to the vehicle, had him in my hand, went back, started running. He got out of the vehicle. He was looking to damage the vehicle where he okay. hit the other vehicle. Did the vehicle actually come back to him when you ran the registration? No, it comes back to his girlfriend, okay. who he lives with. Did he say it's his girlfriend's car? Yeah, he said it's his girlfriend. He gave okay. me his address. I said the girlfriend's the same address. Matched up? Right. Okay. So, plus he's got ID in, in the truck right now with his photo on okay. it. Okay, did he take ID. off running from the vehicle after that? Yes. At that point? Okay. Yeah, so he looked at uh, damage on his vehicle. Looked at me, jumped over the wall into the trail park, and took off. Okay. Whose vehicle is it then? I have no idea, sir. You ran from that vehicle? No, sir. You didn't run from that vehicle? So the no, other sir. witness and this officer saw you run from that vehicle, but it doesn't belong to you, the one you drove there. Is that what you're trying to tell me? That's correct, sir. Whatever you say. Yes, no, sir. and I'm, I'm just trying to sit, trying to understand what you're coming from, your side of the story. There's two sides of the story, correct? No, you don't want my side of the story. You guys want to beat my legs no. with, a, with a stick if your leg is that beaten my legs be, are beat and yes then you will not be standing right now yeah oh i can barely stand why, why were you walking behind 7-eleven against the wall here i wasn't behind some i was in 7-eleven this is 7-eleven you're to the rear of it and you're walking against this wall yeah i was trying to get away from this guy to save my life because he was beating me up with a stick yeah yeah for what reason what was he selling Tell ask him, him why he's beating me with a stick i'm asking you how can i were, tell you were why you in a vehicle tonight no. Did you leave the scene of an accident? No, sir. Yeah? Were you running from this officer earlier? No, sir. No? No, nope. I stopped and when he hit me. Where do you live at? When he hit me. Where do I live at? That's a question, a simple question. Where do you live? Where do you live here? at, sir? Where do you live at? Where do you live at, sir? Do you want to play the game tonight? I'm not playing the game, okay. but I'm, I'm telling That's you, fine. this guy beat me with a You can sit there in handcuffs, okay? Thank Relax. you. Thank you. Thank you. I just got the, the witness statement from the clerk that said that he, he walked out and heard Blaze yelling at the guy, stop, stop, like six times. The guy knew he was talking to him. He turned to him like this, like he didn't hear him say anything, but like, you know, Officer Holly was saying, the guy turned like he was going to stop. I thought he was going to stop, then he was just trying to get away from him, just yeah. refusing his orders the whole time. So. Right, we're good to go. He just needs to take him to jail now. Yeah, I'm going to hand him this and then uh, we'll talk to him over at the jail, yeah? Have a seat and watch your head. Oh. Make sure I watch my head. Make sure I won't hit my head, okay? You sit flat, that's gonna be the most comfortable for you with your hands, all right? I'm gonna try, but I'm, I'm a pretty, pretty big now, guy. We've had some big guys in the back seat, that's gonna be the most comfortable for you, all right? Okay, watch your knee.
he's kind of figuring it's going to be his word against my word. And that's obviously not true because you've seen him leaving the scene of an accident. He ran from you after you ordered him to stop. Correct. And we get back.